Today, the region is well on its way to recovery. The districts of San Jose de los Molinos, Ica, and Pacona are extremely poor and are located hours from the nearest city. In past disasters, help arrived weeks and sometimes months later because of the distance. The upheaval of highways isolated these communities even further. Poorly built adobe houses crumbled with the impact and families were left without shelter as the harsh winter set in. They needed solutions right away. 44-year-old Carmen Rosario Ruiz Copche was in her house when the earthquake struck. I worked so hard to build my house. I saved the money cent by cent in order to build that house. And suddenly it was destroyed like it was made out of cookies. I asked, why did that happen? What are we going to do? CHF International, an humanitarian and development organization, responded to the Peruvian people immediately. Thanks to the generous support of the American International Group, AIG, Disaster Relief Fund. The Disaster Relief Fund is supported by donations from AIG and its employees around the world. When the team first arrived, 70% of homes lay in rubble. They worked with community members to swiftly clear debris and construct transitional homes. Volunteers were trained to build shelters and latrines and supervised the construction of hundreds more. They conducted health and sanitation sessions as well. In distributing homes, priority was given to the most vulnerable community members, including the elderly and disabled. Fifty-year-old Jose Luis Moron Moquillaza has lived in Ica his entire life. The engineers who came became like our parents. They came here to listen to us. They learned about our necessities and problems. The next day, they showed up with trucks full of construction materials. The International Federation of the Red Cross adopted the shelter prototype because of its simple and sturdy design to rebuild thousands more throughout the province. After providing families with shelter, CHF began focusing on getting community members back on their feet. Hundreds of small grants were distributed for entrepreneurs to restart lost businesses, the construction of a daycare center made it easier for mothers to get back to work. The team also worked with parents to rebuild temporary classrooms so that children could continue with regular schooling. During an inauguration ceremony to celebrate the community's revitalization, Pablo Corse, an AIG representative in Peru, said, I would like to give thanks to all of you, because no matter how much one company or another can contribute with money or gifts to help begin the recovery process, it is the people who can and will fight for the future.
Eddie Argonal, a member of the CHF response team, said. When I first came to Barcona, to Ica, and started working with the communities, I saw a lot of desperation and suffering in the people. But now we have passed the suffering with smiles. I thank you and urge you to move forward, to join forces and to push forward in order to have a better life. Today, these communities are doing just that. The guidance that they have received allow them to take control of the recovery process with confidence. Volunteers from a local university were so inspired, they formed their own non-governmental organization, PRODEISO. PRODEISO will guide recovery efforts and prepare against the next natural disaster. To start, they are constructing 500 more shelters for the Red Cross. Engineer Javier Galegos, mayor of Parcona. Above all, for your consideration of the well-being of the people of Parcona, I, mayor of the municipality, would like to give thanks and welcome our friends from CHF and AIG. With support from the AIG Disaster Relief Fund, one gift will continue giving long after we have left. <laughs>